Hey chickies, thanks for hanging out today. We're going to be reviewing some new lip glosses from the brand Maybelline. These are called the Lifter Gloss Lip Gloss Makeup with Hyaluric Acid. So I hope you'll join me for today's video. <laughs> If you're new here, I'm Christine, Curate Beauty, Lifestyle, as well as Raw Vlogs. Greatly appreciated. If you please subscribe to my channel, would absolutely love it if you'd be a part of the Chicky crew. Also, don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of new videos. So I saw this brand new display at my local Walmart and knew I had to pick up a few of these because the packaging alone just really, really caught my attention. So these are called the Lifter Gloss Lip Gloss Makeup with Hyaluric Acid. I did pick up seven of them. I'm going to read this right off the Maybelline website. Gloss gets a lift new lifter gloss fuller looking lips lasting hydration formula with hyaluric acid these retail for six dollars and 98 cents at my local walmart prices do vary i will leave the links for these items down below in the description box you receive about 0.18 fluid ounces of product and let's just kind of turn the whole thing around because aesthetically it is very pretty i love how it's nude with the clear plastic lip gloss tube and then Here's the wand. It's a really big fat wand. When you untwist it, it just kind of automatically pushes out. Just a little FYI. The shade I'm wearing today is called uh, 010 Crystal, which is more of like this bronzy color. Let's go ahead and jump into the hand and lip swatches. And then I'll be back for just some of my overall thoughts on these new lip glosses from Maybelline. watch is helpful let's just kind of go over each one start first with 001 pearl this one does have like a pearl iridescence to it which I think is beautiful it has all these tiny little micro shimmers that you can't even feel it's not grainy it just reflects the light beautifully it gives your lips the appearance that they're plumper and then we have 002 ice which honestly looking at the packaging I thought it would be a very light pink that would not be flattering on me but it's actually very sheer it has a little bit of a light pink tint to it very very slight it does look different than pearl because pearl does have those iridescent shimmers but this does not it's definitely just more of a gloss with a very light pink tinge to it 003 moon baby pink i want to say it's also the one that i heard very comparable to the fenty gloss bomb in fussy i have fussy 
So let me just swatch them side by side. It isn't as pigmented as Fussy. So here's Moon and then here's Fussy. It's a good alternative if you don't want to invest in the Fenty Gloss Balm. This does also contain some little micro shimmers. Next we have 006 Reef. Now this is the gloss that definitely had a ton of pigment to it. And when I say a ton, I mean that is a ton of pigment. This color is beautiful. It's definitely more of like a peachy pink. 007 Amber, corally nude color. Beautiful, opaque, gives your lips the appearance that they're very plump and juicy. These two, by the way, do not have any shimmer. It's just gloss. Then we have 008 Stone, more of like a mauvey pink. It's almost like a your lips but better for my lips. Again, this is not a gloss that contains any shimmer. Lastly, we have the one which I'm currently wearing. This is definitely more, I would say, on the sheer side. It's called Crystal, a bronzy color. I was a little bit hesitant to pick this up. Actually, very surprised with this shade because honestly, I was thinking this would look a little bit more metallic-y, but no. Do you have a scent to them? I want to say it's almost like a candy scent that's not overly fragrant. You can also taste it a little bit, like slightly. Longevity of these lippies, now because they are glosses, if you eat or drink anything, or if you wear your mask or even like touch it a little bit, it will come off. You do have to just keep reapplying them. You don't feel any of those micro shimmers at all. One of the best things I would have to say about these lifter glosses from Maybelline would have to be that these do not feel sticky on the lips. They feel so buttery smooth. When you go like this, like press your lips together, you don't get that like little spider web effect from the glosses, which is something I really, really do appreciate. So blown away by these. I mean, packaging alone just really, really drew me in. Then to find out that the actual lip gloss itself is beautiful, pigmented, just overall they make your lips look nice and full and juicy and just plump for six dollars and 98 cents i think that these are just wonderful products from maybelline so i'm curious to know if you have seen this at your local walmart have you guys picked any of these up also let me know out of the seven shades we swatched today which ones were your favorite i would love to get your feedback so i hope you enjoyed hanging out today and found this video helpful if you did please make sure you give it a like subscribe if you have not already would love for you to be a part of the cheeky crew thank you Thank you so much for watching, stay safe and healthy, and I will see you in the next video. Mwah.